Take three. We are one week away from going to Mexico. One week means that's exactly when my ADHD brain needs to start my packing process. I know, that sounds ridiculous. It kind of is, because Bex could just like throw stuff in her suitcase the night before we leave for any trip and be great and have everything, but my brain doesn't work that way and I really need to start thinking now about the things I'm gonna wanna bring and if I need to go anywhere to get something, that means I still have time to go. Why do they always play in True Bones and make noises as soon as I hit record? It's like without fail. Here we go. Say hi. Hmm? What do you have to say? What? This is your moment, have it. No? Quiet all of a sudden? Have nothing to say and no noises to make. Right, okay. These two, I swear. Anyway, we are a week away from Mexico. No Jinx is talking. <laughs> Jealous? Wanna be on camera too? Okay. Here's Jinx, have your moment. This is, this is it. There, there's the camera. Say hi. No? Nothing? They both just all of a sudden go quiet in front of the camera. All right. Take three. We're gonna try this again. What was I saying? Now I've completely lost my train of thought. Mexico. One week away, lots to do. I have some errands to run. I have things to like find in my house. Yada, yada, yada. I also gotta get the dogs packed up before we bring them to their sitter next week. So, you know, the packing week begins. Well, let's call it the pack and prep week begin. Prep and pack? Prep and pack. The prep and pack week begins now. We're gonna go to Mexico together. I'm gonna take you to Brandy Carlisle's event. It's called Girls Just Want a Weekend. It should be really good. We went last year, had an amazing time, obviously, since we're going back. I'm actually really excited. I was going through some of my old, like, cameras and lenses and stuff. I don't know, I was kind of in the mood to maybe get out like one of my old video cameras to get like a little nostalgic feel, a little vintagey feel going for some of my videos, like maybe just for B-roll. So it's really just like kind of a fun creative project for myself. And I did find this one. It is a Canon PowerShot SD 1400 IS Digital Elf. Just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Now, I honestly don't remember what year I got this, um, but it works. I charged up the battery with that little built-in lens. And it is, I mean, it's super small. It's like the size of a credit card. The lens retracted, it's like, half an inch thick, maybe a little three quarters of an inch thick. I mean, it's got nothing, nothing it doesn't need. I'm gonna give this a go. I'm gonna like, in the next week, use it a little bit, uh, try and find a couple of SD cards that work with it because of course it's so old that like, I don't know if they still make the same version. I don't know. I obviously I have no idea what I'm talking about. Like, I don't have the words, but my SD cards I use with this camera do not work with this camera. And that's about as much as I know at this point. I'm gonna do a little research, see if I can find a new one that does work with this. And I also found like a little bag full of my old SD cards, which I'm gonna go through, maybe like pull stuff off of those and then have those to use with this. 
hopefully. That's the goal. That's gonna be a little bit of a project that I hadn't really accounted for, but of course, you know, now I wanna do this, so I'm gonna somehow find the time. So I have it running now. Let's see here. I don't know. It doesn't look too bad. I mean, this, you know, little screen is pretty poor quality. So it's tough to say. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, don't, I honestly don't know. Let's see. So this is me recording my face right now, right now. Eh? Eh? Hi? Hi? Uh-huh. Maybe that shot is the good one. One of the things I like about having a camera like this is that it's like your expectations are set so low that production value almost kind of goes out the window and you allow yourself forgiveness and room to be silly and capture things maybe a little bit more, I don't know, like gritty reality versus trying to perfect the shot. And that can actually end up being really nice, really special and capturing moments that maybe you wouldn't have captured otherwise. That's the draw for me on something like this and not just the kind of nostalgic look and feel, but what it actually does to me as the person behind the camera and letting loose a little bit and capturing stuff in maybe a different way. So. I'm excited to see if it works out. I'm gonna play around with this, play around with my other camera, see what I can get working, and hopefully have a couple options while I'm traveling for like fun travel vlog stuff. Good news, I was able to find an SD card that works. It's only gonna hold about 20 minutes of video. That is 20 minutes of video I couldn't record earlier. That means I can bring it to Mexico even if I don't find any other SD cards that work with it. I do still have a few more to go through though, so I still have hopes that I'll find another one that works. But before I bring it to Mexico, I wanted to just test the camera. I wanted to know if I actually like it before I go ahead and spend all this time and effort getting it together, bringing it there, taking up space in my luggage, and end up hating what it produces. So I made a little short film here at home. It stars Minnie Waffles and Jinx, my two dogs. Have a watch and I hope you enjoy it. So what'd you think? Did you like it? I thought it was cute. Obviously it's just kind of a silly little test film. I like the look and feel overall. It feels very nostalgic, very home video, you know? And it's, so, it's almost like this warmth in the graininess that you get. And I guess that's the nostalgia aspect for me. I think it's gonna be a great little camera to bring to Mexico to gather B-roll, getting the feeling of the whole event really. Um, In related news, I also went upstairs and I rummaged through my little like travel box that I have in my closet. And what I keep in there is really just anything that's like very specifically related to traveling. So things like packing cubes, TSA locks, you know, just stuff like that. And uh, I have been very unsuccessful in remembering to bring my pesos back to Mexico for like the last three trips. So I found three different little stashes of pesos in that box. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. I mean, it's also kind of dumb because I forgot to bring them back three times, but present me is very happy about that. And 
very happy that I remembered to actually go looking for them in the first place. So I found 1160 pesos in there. 1160 pesos is about $60.34 US dollars with today's exchange rate. I don't even know if that's good or not. So that's almost 70 bucks that I didn't have before. It doesn't even really feel like it's coming out of my current wallet. You know, it's like past money that I feel like I already spent. So now it feels almost kind of free. I know it's definitely not free. But it does mean that we're gonna land in Mexico. We're gonna have about 70 bucks in our pocket. We generally like to exchange at the hotel there. They have a really fair exchange rate, which means we wouldn't have any money from the airport to the hotel and there's a shuttle driver that's definitely gonna need a tip and probably a luggage person, somebody else from the hotel. It's a whole event with lots of people. This year, we are showing up prepared. Here's hoping the rest of it is also smooth. <laughs> So one of the things that Bex and I are doing together in preparation for Mexico has been this like health and wellness mini challenge. And we started it not on the first because on the first we were like, you know, having our champagne and celebrating the new year, etc. So we started on the 2nd of January and it goes all the way until the day we leave for Mexico. So we each have four goals. I made this little visual for it where I put the little calendar on there. I'm blue and she's green. And each day that we accomplish all four of our goals, we get to put an X on the calendar. So far, so good. We've each accomplished our four goals every single day. And you know, I think having this visual is kind of more motivation to do it even. It's like, you really don't wanna have no X on the mini challenge. So my four goals, one of them is one of the goals that I got from my coach, which was 120 ounces of water. Always, 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 always drinking water. I have to drink about three and a half of these a day. Second goal for me, 6,000 steps a day. Number three, I'm gonna do bedtime push-ups and no, they are not like full on legit push-ups. Please, I'm 41 years old and I haven't done a push-up in very, very many years. Uh, so we're doing it from the knees and I've done it every single night. I've added one fake push-up to my total number each night since I started. And the last goal of mine is don't eat if I'm not hungry. So those are my four goals. We're going to Mexico. I intend on getting a blue check or a blue X, I guess, every single day. Until then, we have about a week left. And yeah, I'm feeling good about this so far. Let's just try to do this. It's time to pack the dogs up. Here we go. Oh, 
FedEx texting me. Oh, I'm gonna get this finished up now. This is their travel scoop, by the way, and I have a dedicated bag for them. I got one more update on vintage cams. I found another one, which uh, I was so excited about it. It's this, it's this little like vintage Polaroid cube video camera. I have done every single thing that I can possibly think of to get this thing to work again. And I have failed miserably. It holds a charge, you know, it powers on. And then as soon as I hit record, it just turns itself off. It makes the series of beeping sounds that are like, nope, nope, nope. I've even tried different SD cards. I had the original one that was in here still. And I found a couple others that would work with it. None of them work. It just turns off. I don't think it's actually ever going to work again. I think this has seen the end of its life. I loved it. I used it in the past, but in the present, it will not be. But I tried. I didn't prepare enough. I keep trying to record this and every time I record it, somebody in my family busts into the room either talking to me or like, you know, it's a dog with a bone that is then dropped and clatters on the floor. So we're gonna try this one more time and hopefully I can get it recorded. I'm in the middle of making brunch right here. Those are sweet potatoes. We are almost out of food. That's pretty much all we've got left, like fresh vegetable wise because this storm that just happened, this Arctic blast, um, yeah, it turned into basically like a Portland ice storm. Like not a cute, fun snow day, but snow for a little bit and then boof, hail, everything turns to ice. Our windows in the bedroom completely failed. Snow was literally building up inside our house because of that. So I had to put like a layer of plastic sheeting. Like I was able to find some plastic sheeting because I'm me and I like to prepare for stuff like this. And I'm glad I do because yeah, snow in the bedroom. But anyway, I put the plastic sheeting up on the windows. I taped it to the frame. Then I hung some blankets in front of the window for extra insulation. The room is still really cold, but it is warmer than it was prior to those things being done. You know, the rest of the prep and pack stuff from Mexico, we gotta get cashed. We gotta go to the store. We just gotta get like random last purchases in, etc. Next time I see you, hopefully we will be in Mexico or at least on our way. And that, you know, the second 
bit of this storm that is headed our way tomorrow isn't going to delay us because that is exactly what happened last year. And we are now kind of freaking out that it's gonna happen this year, <sighs> trying to remain optimistic that it won't. Um, yeah, we're going to Mexico and we're getting there on time. I will see you in the next vlog. Hit like if you want to. Thank you for watching. I hope you are well. Bye.